everyone so this week's sunday stitches is going to be a cute little bow tie stitch and so to do this stitch you need to cast on multiples of 10 plus 7 so for this swatch i'm going to cast on 27 stitches because 10 times 2 is 20 and plus 7 is 27. <music> So to start this stitch pattern, we need to do four rows of stockinette stitch starting on the wrong side with a purl row. And so stockinette stitch is one row of purling, one row of knitting, and it creates this V-shaped stitch on the front of your work. So rows one and three will be purl the entire row, and rows two and four will be knit the entire row. So here I am on row one, and I'm just going to purl all the stitches until the end of the row. And so I'm just finishing purling this row and then I am going to turn my work and start row two which will be a knit row. And so I will just knit every stitch across the entire row and I will repeat those two rows again. So I'll purl the next row and knit the fourth row to give me four rows of stockinette stitch. So you can see here I've completed my four rows of stockinette stitch. So I purled row three and knitted row four and now I'm on row five which is the back side of our work. And we start row five by purling six. begin the pattern repeat which is move the yarn to the back of the work and slip the next five stitches as if to purl and then move the yarn back to the front of the work and purl the next five stitches and you will repeat that slipping five purling five until you reach the last stitch and then you will purl the last stitch in the row so again the pattern repeat is move the yarn to the back slip the next five stitches as if to purl and then move the yarn to the front and purl the next five stitches until you reach the last stitch and then you will purl that last stitch. stitch in row five so I'm going to purl that and I will turn my work and begin row six and so row six is just knit every stitch all the way across the row and I'm actually going to repeat those last two rows rows five and six two more times uh, so row seven and nine will be just like row five and row eight will be knit all the way across like row six so I've just knitted my last stitch for row 6 and I'm turning my work to begin row 7 and again row 7 is just like row 5 so we start off by purling 6 and then we start the pattern repeat which is move the yarn to the back of the work slip 5 stitches as if to purl move the yarn to the front and purl five stitches and you do that until the end of the row until your last stitch and then you purl that last stitch So I 
reached my last stitch and I'm going to purl that stitch and then I'm turning my work to begin row 8 which is knit every stitch. You can see here I'm creating these little loops in the front of the work which is what helps us create that bow tie stitch. And so now I'm on row 9, which again is just like 5 and 7, so you purl 6 and then start the pattern repeat, which is move the yarn to the back, slip 5 as if to purl, and purl 5 until the last stitch, and then you purl that last stitch. So now here I am on row 10. You can see I have three little loops in the front of my work in each of these sections. And so that's what's going to help us create the little bow tie stitch. And so to start, I will start by knitting eight. This is the pattern repeat which starts with making the little bow tie stitch so to do that I'm going to take my right hand needle and loop it underneath those three long loops at the front of my work and then I'm going to knit the next stitch but I'm going to pull that stitch underneath those three loops so you can see here I'm taking my right hand needle and pulling that underneath those three loops before slipping that stitch off my left hand needle. And then that creates that little bow tie shape in that stitch. And then I'm going to knit eight. So that's the pattern repeat is make the bow tie stitch and then knit eight all the way until the end of your work. Again, to make the bow tie stitch, I'm going to take my right hand needle and loop it underneath those three loops at the front of my work, and then I'm going to knit the next stitch, and I'm going to bring that stitch underneath those three loops so it gathers them up in that stitch to create that bow tie shape, and I'll slide that off of my left hand needle, and then I knit eight. So after row 10, you do four more rows of stockinette stitch. So 11 and 13 are purl and 12 and 14 are knit. And then that brings us to row 15. So now we are on row 15 and row 15 starts off with purling one. And then we start the pattern repeat, which will be move the yarn to the back of your work slip five as if to purl and then move the yarn back to the front of your work and purl five and you repeat that until the last six stitches of your work
the last st six stitches in your row, you again move the yarn to the back and slip five as if to purl. And then you'll move that yarn to the front again and purl that last stitch. We will turn our work and begin row 16, which is knit every stitch in the row. And so we will repeat those last two rows, 15 and 16, two more times, uh, similarly to what we did before. So row 17 will be like row 15, row 18 will be like row 16, which will be knit every stitch, and then row 19 will be like rows 15 and 17. And so that will create, again, little sections of those three long loops at the front of our work. So here I am at row 20 and you can see those three long loops in those small sections at the front of our work. And so again, this is the row that we make the little bow tie stitch. So we start off by knitting three and then we begin the pattern repeat. And the pattern repeat is make the bow tie stitch, knit nine until the end of the row and the last three stitches you will knit. So again, to make the bow tie, I'm gonna take my right hand needle and loop them underneath those three long loops at the front of my work. And then I'm going to knit the next stitch, but I'm gonna pull that loop behind the three long loops at the front of my work. And then I will slide that stitch off my left hand needle. So it kind of gathers those loops into that bow tie shape. And then I'm going to knit nine. making that bow tie stitch so I'm going to take my right hand needle and loop it underneath those three loops being careful not to snag any of the stitches behind I only want those three loops on my right hand needle and then I'm going to knit the next stitch and I'm gonna pull that stitch behind those three loops like that and then I'll slide that stitch off my left hand needle stitches in row 20 and that's the pattern those 20 rows create that little bow tie pattern so you just keep repeating the 20 rows until your pattern or item is the length that you need so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and you'll try this little stitch out mm -hmm. 